Hi, Cyberspruce here, back with another Ordinal Marker video, episode 49, and, um, well, this is a voiceover because the original audio did not get recorded for some reason, so, yeah, uh, I, yeah, I have a trillion factor boosts, and I think I'm just trying to find the optimal singularity level. I really, I'm not going to know what I'm doing, like, from, like, each point, but, yeah, I know. I'm I'm so sorry. It wasn't me. It was it was a bug. But yeah, I have six E23 boosters. Um, I have 59 achievements. Um, I think I've, the new ones were because of um, gas, 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 and stuff like that. And yeah, there's there's not much. <laughs> well, you know, there there is some stuff I can do. It's been a long while since last episode. I think I'm actually going for another challenge eight completion here. So, um, I don't know what I'm waiting for here, but, uh, come on. Am I going to actually go into it? I'm probably explaining something that I don't remember. Um, yeah, he, you notice that I can only reach, um, Omega to the Omega 3 of 4. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm turning off the auto bars, so, and changing my, um, singularity function build so that I can reach omega to the omega times four so I can hopefully get farther in challenge eight um, so I think this is a pretty good build um, oh yeah I'm exiting the challenge so I can actually reach it and then yeah, going to base five and real and I realized that I can't get a lot of ordinal points it's only e29 it's probably because I have the wrong build actually I also um, when do I notice that my singularity is still level 65 instead of level 1? Whatever, I'm, I'm changing my build up slightly. Maybe this still works. Um, I'm not exactly sure if this works. Actually, no, it's because I didn't max all. That was literally the reason why. So I can get E44 ordinal points from this, which is pretty good, but it's not enough to actually get another completion of the challenge. I... I remember that there is the one build that, where I actually, um, this is not the build, but there was the one build where I would be able to beat this challenge one more time. I think there was something that, it, it's that 42, yeah, the 42 function one, where the challenge eight goals are divided. Um, so, this will allow me, actually I need to go back into the E44 ordinal points, build first and then I have to go to the other build and then I'll be able to get a completion of challenge 8 here so there it is I, I think actually yeah that's an instant completion right there I think so um, yeah I'm just noticing this which I don't think was there before the update so but if I can't get that upgrade yet so yeah it's I mean, once one completion, not going to do much. Sort of dis disappointing. Um, can't really do much. I think now I'm just going for a factor boost per second build because I have another challenge completion. But I don't think I get very far. Um, so, okay, Singularity um, 65 is still optimal. Yeah, not much I can actually do. So, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what, what I'm really doing here. Um, I think I experiment with some of the other Omega challenges because, oh yeah, incrementy. That's probably what I'm actually thinking because I've sort of neglected incrementy for the um, last episode and so far this episode because you can see the, the reward with Omega challenge 2 boosts the incrementing upgrades. So, yeah, I... I, th I think there was this bug last episode that I was trying that prevented me from getting more incrementy. And, uh, yeah, it's still here. I think I tried reloading the page. Yep, that's exactly what I did. I reloaded the page, and it miraculously works. So anyway, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to increase the singularity level so I can get more incrementy. I think there's a little bit of a time wall here where I need E90 incrementy. So, yeah, see in a bit. 
Wait, no. No. I, I forgot about a manifold. Yep, I I think I forgot it on the recording and now on the voiceover. So, yeah, that's another singularity level. I can now reach singularity 70. See another bit when I can actually reach E90. Okay, I'm back like a few minutes later. I've actually gotten the double proportion of increment T. And now I'm getting some other stuff. Now I'm just waiting for this manifold. I'm really close to getting E90 here that multiply incrementing multiplier by 1.2 the the man the one manifold I actually did get increases my like incrementing production by like three times so yeah or no I don't think it's the manifold I think it's just the double the production of T is more like triple the production of T. so once I get the multiply the incrementing multiplier by 1.2 I'll be I'll easily be able to get the manifold allowing me another singularity level and yeah, there's the achievement for Singularity 69, even though I can go up to 71. So yeah, new biggest ordinal doesn't really mean much. And I think I'm now trying to find the optimal factor boost Singularity level. If I recall correctly, it's 66, but I could be wrong on that. So uh, I, let's see, 65, 66, it's, yeah, it's, it's still 66. So... Yeah, I think at this point, I start going for the Omega Challenges. Um, because, or at least the third Omega Challenge, I think. Okay, just distributing all Cardinals here doesn't really do much. Um, not going to really give me any more Singularity Levels. I think it's time to go into two Omega Challenge 3, I think. Oh no, I focus on Baseless Milestone 2. Because people say I should already have Baseless Milestone 2, and it's pretty nice. You can change with the singularity fat. You can just change the singularity faster and all that. So, um, yeah, I need to go into challenge four for that, and then, yeah, the I get it right away. It, it's literally the achievement is complete the second baseless milestone, and all I need is um, um, omega to the omega squared times three plus like omega three or something, or omega four, and. I can get all the way up to Omega to the Omega square times 4. I'm just playing with the new toys I have. So, yeah. But anyway, like the ordinal I have, it seems like it's pretty large, but it's it's not anywhere close to the third baseless milestone, which that is keep the, forever keep the first four function upgrades. So, right, that's pretty nice. I don't have to click on those again, and it's just tedious. Anyway, I think I'm going to Omega Challenge 3 now, considering where my cursor is. So, yeah, I need E75 increment T. Uh, I think I'm just anchoring the challenge. And I think it does, it performs like a double collapse when I do the Omega Challenge, unfortunately. So, I won't get to keep many factor boosts. I don't know why I'm waiting so long. I'll click OK. So, I think... I think I'm just going to regular challenges. You can see I have everything, like all the completions of one through seven. Now I'm just trying to get completions of eight. It's pretty tedious. It's literally just the same thing as, as before, um, to get these challenge eight completions. Um, I really wish challenge eight completions would be saved at this point, but no. So yeah, now as I'm getting more and more challenge eight, com eight completions. Um, this is going to allow me to just get more of everything. Um, I will need to yeah, turn off the factor shift auto procedure so that I can actually reach Omega to the Omega 4 and Challenge 8. And why may not factor shifting? Okay, here we go. Um, factor shift. Um, yeah, I think that's another completion there. Just get it going here and... Um, I think that's another completion, and then I think I'm, I'm not sure if this is premature, this may be premature, yeah, I think I realized that it was premature to change the build, so just do this, run again, yada yada yada, 5e44, ordinal points, I think now I try to change the build so that I can because remember, challenge eight completions give you more incremental gains. So I want to get as many challenge eight completions as possible. Um, I think I'm just looking for the build. 
Oh, I, I think... It's funny. I think I this 42 function thing branches off the 12 function rather than the, the baseless, unlock baseless milestones. So, yeah. Um, I don't think I'm in challenge 8 right now. Um, I over factor shift here. Yeah. Uh, and then I have to... Yeah. Or actually, I don't think I over factor shift. I think I just go into like I go into the regular build, then go into the other build. It's yeah, it's tedious, um, and it's sort of overly complicated, especially if you're doing it multiple times like this. But anyway, five e forty four ordinal points. Now I'm going to the build or device challenge eight completions. Only one e forty four ordinal points. Maybe I just can't get this completion. Failed endeavor. Whatever. I don't think it's that big of a deal to lose out on one completion of challenge eight. So I think I think I'll just deal with it. Um, I don't know why I'm looking at my olive up, olive power, but yeah, I think yeah, I'm calling it quits in this challenge. And um, now I think I want to go into an incrementy build. I want to gain. E seventy five incrementy. So let's see how complicated that is. So let's see factor shift auto procedure. Why do I say complicated? How much of a time wall that's gonna be? Because this game is complicated, but it's just a huge time wall. That that's the thing. So I'm getting all these um, incrementy triplers, and I can easily reach E seventy two incrementy. However, it's a bit tricky, or not tricky, but time wally to reach E75 incrementing. And now I'm realizing that I am factor shifting or factor boosting. No, I don't even think I'm realizing that. Um, yeah, fact, factor boost auto procedure, turn that off. I'm not just trying to get as many, as much incrementing as possible. Um, and just start, yeah, I'm just going to start upgrading the singularity like this. Um, I don't think there's much I can do other than wait. It's not going to take that long, just a couple minutes, luckily. So, yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I think, yeah, I have E75 incrementy now. I don't need to double the production of incrementy because I've already beaten the challenge. And the reward is the left column of booster upgrades are much cheaper. The cost is um, raised to, like, this, it's like the square root, which I don't really see how that's going to be all that beneficial. I mean, it's not a bad effect. But I don't see how it's all that good of an effect. I mean, it's like, it's. it feels like it's just neutral. It barely does anything. So, I mean, then I'm not even sure what I do for the rest of the episode. That's the thing. I really just don't know. Like, the, these, these recent Ordinal Markup episodes are just all over the place. So, yeah, let's see. I think I'm just, I'm making some sort of singularity function build. Yeah, I think I'm now just trying to build up an entire run of, like, factor boosts. Actually, no, I think I'm trying to do something else. I'm trying to um, get, I go into challenge 8 so I can get decrementy. I, I know I do that eventually. I'm not sure when, but it'll, it'll be within this episode. I think I'm just getting challenge 8 completions going right now so as usual this is tedious i really just really want more stuff so i can reduce this challenge eight grind tedium it's just making builds in this thing for like forever and just it's just yeah it's, it's just bad um and yeah it's, uh, i'm just gonna cut this out honestly okay i think this is like the final completion um, I think, like, I've, I think actually I'm, I'm testing how many ordinal points I can get in challenge eight. I think I had like eight E44, but, um, the next completion is like E46 or 47. I'm, I'm not sure. And I, the only thing I know is I'm just not going to be able to, um, beat, um, the next completion of challenge eight for a while. So I think, what am I doing now? <laughs> I'm really not sure what I'm doing. Am I, I can't be farming incrementy. Um, am I, I think maybe here's where I decide to go into challenge eight and get decrementy. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm just getting factor boosts. 
probably finding the optimal singularity level for factor boosts. Um, gaining boosters, you can see the left column is cheaper, but I don't really see it, the point in that. It's like this, we're far past sluggish milestones. So, yeah, I don't know, I don't know what to do. Um, yeah, I'm literally I'm going to sluggish milestones, checking if there's a new sluggish milestone, because why else would there be? Maybe it's because of Challenge 9. I don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm getting somewhat close to Challenge 9. I think it's actually a new feature in the update. So, yeah, I'm excited for what that is going to be. I'm really not sure what it's going to be like, but it'll be like, it, it. hopefully it'll be exciting. I think I'm now just upgrading the Singularity. Yeah, 43 right now is optimal um, for factor boost. And, yeah, it's going to take a while to reach 2e19 boosters. Maybe it's here where I decide I should go for decrementy because there's not much else I can do, honestly. Because, like, my singularity is at 71. It'll take forever to get to 72 using some other method. So, yeah, challenge 8, just getting decrementy. Um, our base five now, singularity functions, um, go here to get the decrementy. I'm not exactly sure what the rest of it I should do, but probably something like this. Um, I think I'm just testing. I'm, I'm just going to test, like this is EE20 decrementing. That's not very good. I don't think I'm maxing. I don't, I don't think I clicked maxed all. Yeah, of course, singularity one. That's pretty important. No, it did, it did click max all. Um, I'm still only getting E21 decrementy. I think I just test both of these builds. So this gets me up to E26, E27, E28 with E45 ordinal points. Um, that could be a better ordinal point build, but um, yeah, it seems actually pretty good because I think the record is like EE31 or something like that. So... I think I think I tr I'm trying the other build. I think that's what I do, right? Right? I'm here. Uh, I'm on the singularity um, functions tab. Yeah, you can see the record is E31 decrementy. At the rate I'm going, it, this will give about EE33 decrementy in a day. So. That's really good, especially when considering I can double the incrementing growth with EE33 ordinal or not ordinal points, um, decrementy. So, and especially like with like you know how slow I am with this game, I could easily reach EE34, and that'll allow me to get a lot of dark manifolds. Like I have three E31, getting up to like EE33 decrementy, I think gets me up to something like three E33. Three, which will allow me to get um, pick up like three singularity levels. So singularity seventy four, maybe even seventy five, will be possible. I think I'm just I don't know why I'm checking these achievements. I don't need them, at least not yet. So yeah, what am I doing? I I don't. These achievements aren't that important. Um, then I'll, I'll get I'll get there eventually. Just just focus on decrementing, right? Isn't that what I'm focusing on? Why am I looking at achievements? Am I just procrastinating? Or am I just like wasting time? Am I just trying to kill time? Because, you know, this game is a time wall. I'm really not sure. Um, am I checking the other build? Well, I went over the rest of the recording. And, well, I don't, I don't do anything significant here. So, I think I'm just going to end the episode here. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.